I was pregnant, I was so excited that I went to Macy's where I bought a bunch of maternity clothes. After that, I checked my body looking for the changes that the books all said would happen, thinking, I can't wait till it shows. And gradually I got fat, uh -huh. no doubt about that. But it didn't bother me, I'm glad to report. I didn't drink alcohol or caffeine at all, just oodles of herbal tea and milk by the quart. Faithfully I exercised and got a lot of sleep and I rubbed oil on my belly so that stretch marks wouldn't appear. In Lamaze I practiced breathing and decided I can do it naturally with Bob as coach. We knew he'd be in the clear. I packed for that special day the tapes that we'd play, the pictures of waves and gulls, my favorite icon. When labor at last began, we stuck to our plan by timing the intervals and loading the Nikon. Sixteen hours later, I was screaming for the nurse to give me drugs or knock me out or simply kill me to end all the pain. Just a little longer, honey, you are doing beautifully. And he has an ice chip you can suck on. Looks like it's gonna rain. Twenty-seven hours later, Bob was urging me to breathe. And I was yelling, fuck you, bastard, don't ever touch me again. Then the doctor turned and said, you're in transition. Soon you'll feel like pushing, but you mustn't till I signal to you that you can. I told them I've had enough. The going's too rough. It's not like it's supposed to be all earthy and mellow. I want to get out of here. I'll come back next year. I would have left there and then, but my legs were jello. After I'd gone into labor, I was gazing at the squished and wrinkled face of my magnificent daughter. Oh, very wrinkly. Was it worth it? Absolutely. But the hemorrhoids and episiotomy were drags that make me wish the stork could have brought her. When I recall that day, I really must say the ending was heaven but pure hell getting to it. If I could make just one change, I'd try to arrange a way that the next time round, my husband could